decisions. I make all my determinations of the implant that I'm going to choose here in the office under the, you know, making into account the tissue qualities, aesthetic goals, and all this. And then I can typically take patients, then show them on our 3D analysis, uh, this 3D imaging of a simulated appearance of what on their body frame, not just putting an implant into a bra and saying, this is what I want to look like. Mm -hmm. This lets you see like what your cleavage is going to be like, what your soft tissues would drape with this particular implant. So there's, it's not like the patient has to jump off into an abyss and just trust that we're going to do something. They get a tangible view of what they think they'll look like. And so I don't vary. When I go to the OR, I go with my set of implants. I don't use sizers. There's a lot of doctors, and not necessarily it's a bad thing, but I think it increases the risk of capsular contracture. If you're constantly pushing a sizer into a pocket, taking it out, putting another one in as a trial and error to see which one looks better. Mm -hmm. I think I can make a better determination with the person animated live in person and thinking about everything that I don't need to do a, a trial and error process. I have the three dimensional concept with the different implants and know exactly their dimensions to come up with a better plan. Because it has in there every single implant that is available in the US all the sizes, dimensions, and I can put them on that individual patient and let them see with their tissues, with their skeleton, and let people know. And it's sometimes very eye-opening because somebody who may have this very wide chest wall, sloping chest, they'll think they can get this tight cleavage mm -hmm. and you show them what it's gonna be and they're they're a little aghast by it. And I'm like, this is what the reality is. Right. It can't be changed. Mm -hmm. And so it is informative for the patient to understand their expectations beforehand. So they're not disappointed. And if they decide that's it's not worth the cost or the effort of having surgery, that's great because I never want to have somebody be disappointed on the other end of things. Absolutely. I'd like them to know what they're going to expect and deliver that or over deliver, hopefully. So um, that, that's why I love that particular imaging system to really give people the confidence of understanding where they're going to wake up and look at afterwards.